When Doctor realizes why Baby keeps touching Belly, he urgently calls the parents. Claire and David were first-time parents and even though the circumstances of the birth were out of the ordinary, they considered themselves to be excellent parents. They didn't even think that something was wrong until they noticed their daughter touching her stomach as if she was in pain. Claire called the doctor for more information, and he told her to rush the child to the hospital immediately. The doctor hoped that it wasn't what he thought it was. When Claire told the doctor what was going on with her new baby over the phone, he told her to rush the child to the hospital. The situation was potentially very dangerous, and he had to see her daughter in person to know what was really going on. The baby's father, David, grabbed the girl and put her in the car before Claire could even hang up the phone. Claire couldn't hold back her tears as she wondered what was going on with her baby. The testing that was done at the hospital before didn't indicate any problems with the baby, but her stomach issues persisted and even her parents started to notice her belly getting bigger over the last few days. They wondered what her symptoms meant. When the couple arrived at the hospital with their daughter, they were told to wait because the doctor was currently seeing another patient. Claire was fine to wait, but David insisted that there was no time to spare. He told the receptionist that they demanded to see the doctor now. David was visibly angry and Claire tried to calm him down, but he couldn't. He knew something was wrong with his daughter and demanded again to see the doctor, who was in his office with another patient. This didn't stop David from storming in the room, despite the confusion of the other patient. The doctor tried to calm David down, but his anger only increased. The other patient in the room recommended that the doctor talk to David before her checkup, because it was obvious that he needed urgent assistance. David made it clear that he had to talk to the doctor now. The doctor quickly stood up and ran to little Rosie. He felt like he had underestimated the situation, and when he saw Rosie he turned pale. He quickly had to run some tests. He thought that she was healthier, but this could get very tricky. The doctor called Claire and David inside of his office. He asked some basic question about their lives. He needed to determine what was going on. Then Claire told him about her life and lifestyle. The doctor's attitude completely changed. What have you done? It was like the doctor blamed Claire for everything. She had no idea what was going on or what she did wrong. The only thing she could think of is the safety of her child. She did not realize what she had actually done to the baby. The doctor quickly rushed out of the room with their baby. When carrying the crying newborn baby to the test department, the doctor could not help but think, how did this poor woman get herself into this situation? A lifestyle like this brings so many risks with it. How could this be worth it? At the moment that he took the baby away from her parents, she kept crying. It was like the baby was in pain. The doctor had called for backup. He trusted in his own ability to help this child, but he definitely needed help. When putting the baby down, it finally stopped crying a bit and the doctors get a chance to inspect her a bit closer. But it isn't until the doctor takes a closer look at the belly that everything changed. He immediately knows what he is looking at and freezes in his tracks. He mumbles to himself, this can't be true leaving the baby in the care of a nurse. He rushes back to tell the waiting parents. They have to know immediately. How could Claire have been so reckless? The doctor asked Claire if she had noticed anything during the pregnancy and this is when Claire started crying. She thought there was something seriously wrong with the baby and that it was her fault. That is when she started to explain. Claire had stumbled out of bed on Tuesday morning. Her head hurt and her stomach felt even worse. She could feel the pressure build in her throat as she ran to the bathroom to throw up. Claire hated the feeling but it was familiar to her. She got like that when she was hungover. However, ironically, she had not been drinking the night before. Claire spent another 15 minutes in the bathroom until she eventually felt fine enough to head downstairs for breakfast. Claire was immediately greeted by her mother commenting on how pale she looked. Claire sighed and relayed her symptoms to her mom who listened intently. Claire watched as her mother turned white as she listed the symptoms. What's wrong Claire urged. She felt self-conscious now. Her mom was a registered nurse and had been in the profession for more than two decades. Her reaction to Claire's symptoms caused the young woman to worry. Finally, her mom spoke up. She asked Claire to get a pregnancy test done. Claire was nervous and took the tests like her mother instructed. The results were frightening. Claire's mom was right, she was pregnant. Claire sat opposite her parents who stared at her in silence. They were both waiting for her to answer the question they had asked. Who was the father? The problem was, Claire wasn't so sure. Claire sighed. She explained that if her math was correct, there were two possible fathers. But she wasn't certain she wanted to tell them about the possibility of a baby. It all seemed far too much for her to cope with. She couldn't stand to think of what their reactions would be. Claire was in a state of panic. It had been a few days since she had discovered she was pregnant. Although her parents had been trying to discuss it with her, she couldn't help but feel wary. She found herself debating getting an abortion. She knew she wasn't ready for kids or to change her lifestyle. What would she do? After a few days of avoiding them, Claire decided it was time to face her parents. She told them that she was planning to get an abortion. However, her parents were against this. They convinced her to keep the baby as they would do everything to help her raise it. 
Although she had agreed to not abort the baby, settling into being pregnant was proving far more difficult than she could imagine. For one, it was the opposite of her current lifestyle. Part of being pregnant is giving up certain things which can be bad for the baby, things like drinking and hard partying, which were things that Claire enjoyed so much. Those habits were a bit more addictive than Claire had realized, so addictive that she found herself sneaking out late to indulge in them. Claire was still in the early stage of her pregnancy and wasn't showing yet. This made it easy for her to get into clubs without judgment, however, the moment of truth was coming. Claire continued on with her secret habits for a few more weeks. But finally, the moment of truth had arrived. It was time for her first checkup with the doctor. The checkup was going well as the doctor asked Claire a few questions to assess the health of the baby. That was when Claire found herself blurting out the truth. Claire confessed everything to her doctor. She admitted that, although she was trying to stay healthy for the baby, she felt almost compelled to go out and party at night. Claire and the doctor have a long and serious talk about the risks and potential consequences for the baby, and by the end of it, it finally seems to click for Claire. The knowledge of what her actions could mean for the baby hit Claire in the heart. She understood that she would have to make some drastic changes to ensure that her baby was born happy and healthy. She was seven weeks in and hoped she had not caused irreversible damage. Claire knew that along with this new perspective, she would have to come clean to those the pregnancy most closely affected. The prospective fathers, Todd and David. Claire made the decision to inform both men of the pregnancy and the situation surrounding it. Their reactions came as a shock to Claire who had expected the opposite. Both men are incredibly supportive of Claire's decision. They let her know that they will be there for the baby if it is theirs and pledge to help her during her pregnancy. This motivates Claire to do even more for the baby as she turned a new leaf. From then on the pregnancy went relatively smooth. Claire spent the rest of her pregnancy doing her best to stay healthy. One afternoon, Claire is laying on the couch watching a movie. When she suddenly feels a stinging pain in her stomach, she screams loudly in pain. Her mother rushes in and immediately knows what's happening Claire's water broke. Claire's mom held her as they both made their way to the car, and she supported her daughter into the back seat and quickly started the drive to the hospital. On the way, Claire decided to call the prospective fathers of the baby. Both men insisted that they be a part of the moment. Does Claire agree? Claire gave her approval. Truthfully, she was in pain, as each contraction passed through her in a painful wave she found her thoughts were clouded by other concerns. Will the baby be healthy? Who will be the father? Will she be able to be a good mother? All questions that will be answered very soon. All the worries in her mind seemed to vanish as the contractions grew closer together and the pain seemed to almost double in intensity. Claire gained a sudden realization it was time to focus on the baby. She would do everything in her power to make sure the delivery was safe for the baby. Just as Claire began to focus on delivery, the door to the delivery room opened up. It was Todd, the first prospective father to arrive he looked like he had stepped out of a construction catalog. A building contractor, he had been working on site when he got the call. The next time the door opened it was the doctor who had arrived to prep Claire for the delivery. A few minutes later David, the second prospective father, showed up. Like Todd, David was a tall, muscular, and handsome man, but he was dressed more casually as he had come from home. However, this time the room fell silent on his arrival. The room stayed silent for a second. No one seemed to know what to say. When the silence finally broke, it came from an unexpected person. The doctor spoke in surprise, What are you doing here, David? The sound of a familiar voice caused David to look up. He could not believe his eyes. The doctor and David stared at each other for a moment before awkwardly explaining the situation. As it turned out, the head doctor was David's uncle. David was aware his uncle worked at the hospital but had been too shocked by the news to consider the possibility that they would run into each other. While the news of David's relationship with the doctor was surprising to everyone in the room, the hospital staff hit a confusing block when they were screening the guests that would be permitted in the room. Claire had been so hyper-focused on getting her life ready she hadn't had the chance to explain the situation to the staff. The doctor and the nurses waited in confusion for an explanation. Finally, red in the face, David explained the situation concerning the baby's paternity to the doctor. The doctor nodded and listened silently. It was clear he was disappointed in David, but he said nothing. He had other priorities. The baby was on the way. Claire was beside herself with pain. She was in so much pain that she could not be bothered to feel embarrassed about the situation. She breathed in heavily as she waited for the hospital staff to give her a sign that the ordeal was close to over. Claire wasn't certain how much longer she could hold up. Luckily, the birthing only took about 30 minutes and soon the first cries of the baby could be heard. It was a beautiful baby girl and Claire could finally breathe a sigh of relief as she watched her daughter smile in her arms. However, this didn't last long as real worries began to set in. The truth was, Claire had become even more worried than she had been initially. Having a daughter was hard work and she wasn't certain she was cut out for it. Even as old doubts settled in, 
The doctors took the baby to run some tests to ensure the baby was entirely healthy. It would be a while before the doctor returned as some of the tests were extensive. While they waited, Claire, Todd, and David got to talking. After beating around the subject for a while, they finally started speculating on the child's paternity. Both men had come up with their own theories as to who the father was. Claire listened to David and Todd argue for a few minutes. It was clear that both of them were excited about the birth of the baby and even more so, wanted the baby to be theirs. For the second time in months, both men surprised her. Claire wasn't expecting this reaction. Although both men had expressed that they wanted to be in the baby's life, it was now more clear that they both seemed genuinely happy about the news. However, Claire knew that wanting to be a good father and being able to be one were two different things. And truthfully, though she wouldn't say it, she had a preference. Claire's mind had faded deep into her thoughts when the door finally swung open once more. Her mother stood up from her position on the couch. Both prospective fathers stopped arguing to pay attention. The doctor smiled. He had some good news to share with everyone. The baby was in perfect health. But was it really? Claire was elated. She brought the baby home with her to wait on the DNA test that was being done. David accompanied her home. That is when it started happening. Every day the belly of the child started growing, and she kept touching her belly like something was wrong. They had to get back to the hospital. The baby was placed into a nearby crib to rest. The doctor was afraid that Claire's lifestyle had indeed affected the baby. When inspecting the belly he noticed something, the newborn revealed something that had the doctor reacting quickly. The doctor was shocked and a little embarrassed. He had not noticed this before. He had solved two mysteries in the span of just a couple seconds. He realized who the father is, and he knows why the baby's belly kept growing. Right there on her belly was a large birthmark. Obviously, the presence of a birthmark may not be alarming and is certainly not a sign of a birth defect. In fact, almost all babies had a few birthmarks across their skin, but the doctor was sure he had seen this particular one before. It was a birthmark he had seen many years before on a similar-faced brown-haired baby. David had almost the exact same birthmark in the exact same spot. And with birthmarks having a chance to be hereditary, it was looking like David was the father. However, the doctor stayed silent. It was just a hunch, and he preferred to wait for the results. Days went by and life seemed to take on a new normal for the new parents. Claire checked out of the hospital and took a break from work while her family readied the house for the new baby. The DNA results were ready but the results were not a surprise to anyone. David was the father. In the coming days, both Claire and David had already realized the baby was his. He had also spotted the birthmark on the baby, and the conception dates were better aligned with him. The doctor told them as well that the baby's belly kept growing because the baby was allergic to the milk they gave her, which Claire immediately changed. Both David and Claire were happy to receive the news. Not only had their suspicions been confirmed, but they were finding life as parents suited them far better than they would have ever imagined. A few months after the birth of the baby, David and Claire started dating and still care for their little girl, Rosie, together.